Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're not new. My name is Michelle, and for today's video, let's do an updated review on the Dior Saddle Flap card holder. Joseph gave this to me last Christmas, so I've had it for almost a year now. I have used it quite a few times, so let's go ahead and get started with today's video. All right, so this was actually my very first piece from Dior. This is the saddle flap card holder in the blue oblique. So as you can see, it's kind of like an embroidered material, which is so beautiful. A part of me was kind of nervous at first just because I feel like what if it frays, but as you can see, it's still in really good condition. And I do just like put this in my purse and then I also put it in like, a jacket pocket when it's big enough. I don't really put it in a jean pocket because none of my jeans, um, jean pockets would fit this inside because um, it is pretty bulky. As far as the hardware, there's no tarnishing to the hardware and I don't really find it getting caught in a lot of things or like moving around so that's also really great. One of my favorite things about this is that there's a pocket here in the back so in case I want to put like something that I need more access to I could put it in this pocket instead of putting it inside um, and having to go in and out um, but if I do want to put like something in here that's more important that I want to keep safe, I can just put it in this pocket here and um, it's separate from everything else. But inside there also is another pocket here and another pocket here where you can kind of like separate your stuff. Um, so yeah, it's such a great wallet overall. Another part about this wallet is that I haven't really had any experience with this kind of lifting up even though it's only a one-sided button. As you can see here, there's no button here. So as you can see, like I always have to kind of pull this up, um, but I don't really see it lifting. So that's also really great because um, I really was kind of concerned about that, but yeah, it still looks really good and I don't really see any difference. As you can see, this middle part is also very spacious. So I have a stack of like maybe 10 cards here and this um, can fit all of that and like even more, maybe, like maybe, I think I did a video on TikTok and it could fit like maybe less than, a little less than 20 cards. Um, but if you also wanted to, here's just some folded up cash. Um, that can also fit inside of here too. If you wanted to also, here's some folded up cash that you can put inside of here. And then you can uh, button it closed. And as you can see, the cash um, is still standing straight up um, because it does curve at the top, although you can still see the cash right over here. Okay, so when I'm using this, I usually have like my car key, some cash, and then like my driver's license, Costco card, and credit card. And then I also have like a lip product. So let me go ahead and show you how all of that fits inside of here. So. I usually take my lip product and this actually fits nicely because of the gusseted pocket so you can kind of see the outline right over here and inside my car key also fits as well and then pretend that this is like my ID and my credit card and then I'll stick that right over here in the front and then my Costco card or whatever extra cards that need to go inside of here goes inside of that back pocket and then if I do need to bring cash I slide that here in the back and all of that fits very nicely inside of the wallet. And yeah, so as you can see, this one is a pretty spacious wallet even though it's very compact and also noted as a card case. So something else that I really like to do with this one is actually make it into a small handbag. Um, I'll go ahead and link the video right over here, but quickly, let me go ahead and show you how I do that. So what I do is I make sure I don't have anything in this pocket and I put everything in the front. And this one, this is actually an insert from Etsy and it has these holes here so you can attach a chain to it. Um, and this, actually goes inside of the pocket inside and it fits really nice and snug in here just like this and when you close the bag or the wallet now you have the chain securely onto um, the wallet so you can wear it as like a crossbody bag now 
Um, and again, it'll all be linked right over here and in the description below. But this is how I got a really nice mini Dior handbag for like $500. And I love wearing it like this just because, again, this wallet has like everything that I need. So the fact that I can make it into a mini handbag with this chain from Organize My Bag and this insert from Etsy um, is amazing. And I love wearing it like that because it's a lot more secure than let me show you instead of having a no insert and if you wear it like this you're really living life on the edge because what if your wallet just opened for some reason and it fell out so um i see some people kind of do it like this where they attach the chain together and then they'll just put it inside of here and that's how they'll make it into a crossbody bag. I mean, this is great and all, but I mean, there still is that possibility that this can come undone and then your wallet is just on the floor somewhere. So yeah, I kind of like this one a lot better because I feel like it's a lot more secure and the chances of you losing your wallet um, is a lot less. So yeah, I highly recommend this insert from Etsy. And again, I'll link everything down below that you need to kind of make this into a cute little um, mini bag. But yeah, so this is the Dior Saddlefab card holder. I'm not sure how much it retails for. I'll go ahead and put the price right over here. But if you're looking to get this wallet, I really do love it and recommend it. And if you are looking for your first piece from Dior and you don't want it to be a handbag, I definitely do think this one would be a great first one um, to kind of get you a little taste of what Dior has to offer because this one is definitely a beautiful piece. And yeah, you definitely can get a lot of different looks with this wallet and even make it into a mini bag. And yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any other questions about this wallet that I didn't answer in my video, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.